Film that because now it's real cold and it's a real ice bath. So we'll do that. Uh, my first meal is rice and ground beef. I changed my ground beef from 5% to 10%, meaning that it's 10% fat. So 200 grams, that means 20 grams of fat. And I add olive oil, 10 additional fats, so that's 30 grams of fat in this first meal. Seems like a lot, but as we go along this day, uh, you will understand that I'm pushing food to the limit. Um, the appetite is all time low and, you know, uh, that's due to being a little bit more fat, really. And when you push your body at the gym every day, uh, you kind of lose uh, appetite. Uh, you can compare it to when you hit legs really, really hard and when you're done training, you're not really hungry. And that's what it's like every day now. I push food, I change food around, but I usually have like two or three meals that's very uh, diet similar, uh, if I can call it that. So, not a lot to say. We can talk a little bit about, you know, how I approach this short off season compared to everybody else because everybody else is still doing their like health phase and rebound or like they don't do the rebound like I do. They do like a reverse diet and all that uh, to the point where you use three months uh, doing the work that you could do in like a month. So, uh, and on top of that, you see they try, you know, they gonna do an off season of 18 months and in my eyes, there's no need to do 18 month off season if you're not like at the top, top, top level. And uh, uh, even then, I don't think it's beneficial because you can do a lot of damage uh, in, you know, 18 months if you put your mind into it. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later, maybe. Because like me now, it's like one more month of pushing food and I need to pick a show for the spring and see uh, when I start prep. So that's that. When it comes to like uh, oils and things like that, if you choose uh, olive oil, you want to choose glass and you want a dark colored glass because it's sensitive to oils. Uh, that is what I always keep in mind. If I choose oils or uh, fatty acids that's sensitive, like olive oil or omega 3s, EPAs, uh, choose the ones that's dark because even sunlight will uh, affect the oil. And after this, I'll wait about 30 minutes, then I have a monster energy drink uh, because I'm bringing back caffeine now because I'll stay away for it for a while. Usually had it every day, uh, 500 uh, mix. Throughout prep, after prep, I wanted to, you know, cut back and see if it gave me something extra throughout, you know, rest and sleep and all, uh, recovery. But all in all, it just made me a little, little bit more sleepy. It takes a lot of time to get me up and running again. So I started implementing it back. And because I don't like coffee, I choose energy drinks. Uh, on top of that, I'm pushing calories, I'm pushing carbs, so uh, the energy drink will be even with sugars. So that's an, uh, another 50 uh, grams of carbs. Whew. So I'll eat this, wait, drink my um, energy drink, then I'll see if I'll do the ice bath early or wait another the meal. See you then. Yeah, feel my little guy. Okay. Ah. Okay, guys. So it's two parts of this that's really hard. And the first thing is controlling your breathing when you get in. So I get in, try to control my breathing. 
before I start talking to you guys because or else it will be impossible to talk one thing is real bad it's like the waves the waves keep you know it's it gets a little bit harder when it's waves in the water because you need to kind of fight them so let's get to it This is quite different than being in a tub in Texas when you can get out and it's 50 degrees. Ah! Here it's five below zero. So even when I get off, get out, it's still cold and I need to get dressed real quick because mm. now the water is as cold as it gets. It's been 10 below freezing for three days, I think. So it, today it's a little bit warmer. Doesn't feel like it, but like I said, the water will freeze in about a month. But uh, it's as cold as it gets. Oh. Mm. So it's not very fun, but there's some beneficial to it and it's a little bit entertaining for you guys to watch me do stupid shit because as I said it before it's like people talk about discipline and discipline is doing things you don't like or you know things that it demands a little bit from you every day for a very long period of time People think like because you go to the gym every day, it's, it's discipline. But if you enjoy it, it's not discipline. It's just having fun. So I don't think it makes me tough to go to the gym every day. It does make me tough to go out in the water either. But like I said, it does have some beneficial sure purposes. When it comes to you know it's two days away from the competition so i want to get rid of all inflames inflamed inflame what's the word inflames inflame all the inflames no i, I can't say the word uh, if you have a muscle that inflamed like you train it it cause inflames i can't say the word frick it doesn't matter. You know the the purpose of ice both. If you don't, Google it because this sucks. I think like five to six minutes is enough today because any more might risk being sick and uh, two days away from competition. I need to just get back back home and like I said it's two parts of this that's very very hard is getting into the water and then drive home I usually do this alone so I drive myself at home and it takes about seven eight minutes to get home and you will see the problems when I get into the car I film a little bit then I don't know how long we film 5.17 Hands up, okay Okay, we do like a minute more And then we'll go under And one thing that keep in mind is when you go under the water now It's so cold in the air that it's very risky to get sick Very easy to get sick So go under a couple of times Then I get my clothes back on and I go home to 
my bathtub, which will be hot as frick right now. And it will be good, good way to recover. Oh. Mm. Sex. Okay. Go. Cool. I think we'll go under a couple of times. If I can manage to hold my breath a little bit. Body really fights me on this one. Uh, one more time, and we're done. It's a weird feeling going under. Body really, really does like it. Oh, don't film my grind because now my confidence. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Everybody understands what happens when you go out in this cold water. And I talked to my doctor about it and he told me that if I do this every day for 40 years, I will have a normal penis. Ah. Oh. But it actually, when you restrict blood flow to that area for a short period of time, it actually can make some different, you know, like, Oh, there is no way to make it bigger, but it's a way to make it smaller. So, if you have that problem, keep that in mind. And like I said, most important thing now is your face and your hair. If your head gets too cold, you get sick. Ooh, so that's that. I'm gonna get dressed now, and you see how I'm looking when I'm driving home. That's fun. Okay, so uh, footage from the car got lost. Uh, it's not that important, it's just me shaking like a leaf trying to get back home. Um, it is, <laughs> it's very difficult, you need to focus really uh, to get back home. So uh, I need to be careful and uh, everybody else doing this shit uh, need to be careful too. So keep that in mind. So next meal, uh, just done the hot bath to get my warmth back. Takes some time, uh, it takes about half an hour to get uh, body back to normal. But now it's time for pre-workout meal and I make my post-workout shake. So I got 100 grams of uh, Cocoa Pops and we're all out of milk. We use, I usually mil I use the high fat milk, 3.7. Uh, but uh, now, like I said, we're out, so I'm gonna use chocolate milk. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's like, like I told you guys, that uh, now it's just getting as much food down as possible. And being two days away from the competition, it's, it's just carving up. Uh, today's workout will be probably very similar to uh, the last workout before a show. So, uh, just get a little bit of blood flow, move some nutrients. Uh, I use half a liter every time here, but like I said, uh, when you're not consistent with anything, you need to count your calories, right? Because if you can make your calories about the same, the energy output and the energy input will determine if you go up and down in weight. So, like I said, I've been struggling to gain weight and been pushing food as hard as I can and for my post-workout usually I use milk here too but now it's water and I use 50 grams of whey and I have six rice cakes with honey 
And that's that. Okay, keep the, this one as quick as possible, just because there's nothing special about this. It's chicken and rice, sweet chili, and olive oil. 15 grams of fat from olive oil, and you know, by, by this point, it's no no use meal planning because throughout the day and you know when you eat this amount of food and fats it doesn't really matter if you cut back on fat in one meal if you think it's gonna make a change uh, like in a prep you usually don't eat fat after the workout just because it's uh, slow down everything but when you eat this amount of fat throughout the day, you will always have fat in your bloodstream. So thinking other is just uh, being delusional. Of course, meal planning is a crucial, crucial part of everything. But the way I approach this, you know, two to three months of off season need to be as hard as possible. So that's why I do it. So eat this, and I'll see you in the next meal. Next meal is going to be a little bit different. So uh, talk a little bit more then and I'll get back, you know, uh, start to add it, edit a little bit and see how the video is looking just because I need a kind of an overview because when you're doing everything by yourself it's hard to remember everything, everything you said, everything you've done. So get back to you guys in the next meal. You got six eggs, 150 grams of bacon. Can you film Adam? So, quite a big meal, uh, calorie-wise at least. It's easy to get down. There's no carbs, so it's just shuffle down uh, eggs and bacon. It's very easy. I'm gonna play some cards with my main man over here. And in two hours, my last meal will go down. And that's a big meal, so we'll see how it goes. Because uh, I'm planning for a burger and some ice, ice cream and a muffin, I think. But, uh, what's... What is? Oh, it's speaking to the man. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and one more thing, I drink actually I drink soda. So between the last meal and this meal, I drink half a liter of Coke. And after this meal, I wait another uh, half an hour to an hour, and I drink another half a liter of Coke, or soda or something like that and every half a liter is about 50 grams of carbs extra so uh, probably like 150 to 200 grams of carbs uh, from soda uh, almost every day i know what you're thinking i don't give up but uh, that's the truth so uh, like i said before i want transparency so my diet is not a diet it's just eat as much as you can and consume as much as you can and the only thing I keep in mind is like uh, how it passed through me. So if I have problems, uh, I need to address those problems. But for now, I don't have any problems. So I just continue this. And I know people think like they eat a lot. They say to me that they eat a lot, but the, the consistency is always the key. So when you think, uh, you, when you say to me that you ain't gaining wet weight, I know that the problem is consistency. Uh, it's always that you can't do it in 15, uh, 15 days, 20 days, 40 days in a row. That is always the problem. Same with diet. Uh, you will end up missing a meal or having a bad day and then you will lose weight and you will need to start over. My biggest problem is actually sleep. When I sleep like 10 to 12, even 13 hours sometimes, I lose a, norm, a lot of weight and I have problems eating myself up and eating to the point where uh, I need to gain weight again. Uh, very difficult, but you know, it is what it is. So uh, I eat this and I'll see you at next meal. Bye. Okay guys, so last meal of the day. A burger, uh, cheese and bacon, a muffin and three ice cream. Uh, not a lot to say. I've been eating like pizza for the last four days. It doesn't really matter what I eat now. Uh, been hovering about 6,000 to 7,000 calories every day. And uh, like I said before, the only thing that could be bring my uh, weight up 
is if I take days off the gym, cut back on my cardio or something like that. But then again, uh, I want to keep my cardio in. It's from a health perspective, very good for you. And uh, it does something, you know, uh, everybody that's done cardiovascular training, it's, it's good for your mental health too. So I want to keep that in and I want to train at least six days a week. So taking tomorrow off because of the competition, I'm gonna have like a day off every every week for the next like month or so uh, and then we'll start prep again so that's that uh, when it comes to food and all that uh, I don't want to get in all the details about uh, what's what because it's gonna take forever but I, I told you a little bit about oils earlier today and uh, one of the things that you really want to keep organic uh, is fats because fats are stored in your body and if it's toxins in that fat you store those toxins too so when you start prep or start a diet those toxins will get released when you start losing the fat so when your body start breaking down the fat the toxins will get released and you will feel bad on diet and that's you know uh, it's not good feeling bad on diet if uh, things are moving accordingly to plan. So uh, that's the main reason I would uh, keep organic food. But like now, I'm not like overly fat, and to shed li shed like uh, two, three, four percent of body fat will go very, very easy for me. And uh, on top of that, I don't really care about how I feel as long as performance is there. So. That's why I uh, can like excuse myself to eat like a pig. Uh, and like uh, when it comes to uh, health in general, uh, everybody seems afraid now. Everybody wants to be like, they want to be a hundred years living in a, a castle of pillows and rubber, uh, having vaccine for everything that's wrong with the world, wearing a mask and you know, uh, being as safe as possible, but uh, everybody that knows something knows that life is a little bit dangerous and no matter what you do, no matter what you're gonna do, uh, it is a risk involved. So uh, when you're doing something you love, the risk can be a little bit higher, but you don't need to be dumb about it. So uh, that's that, I think. Uh, in two days, today is Thursday, on Saturday I'm competing in powerlifting, uh, squat, bench and deadlifts. So if you want to see that, subscribe, like this video and see you next time.